Welcome to Modern Architecture. Uh, I'm here at a uh, wonderful property in uh, Sunfish Lake. It is a modern contemporary that was uh, architecturally designed by uh, Plaid Architects. Um, it's really a treat to be able to come here and uh, take a look at the finished project um, and enjoy the windows. This is really a fun house. Um, modern architecture is actually really a fun product. Um, we want to do more of it. We enjoy doing modern architecture. I really want to have fun talking about the modern contemporary as it is very well received in Minnesota, which is something a little bit new. You can see by the uh, two-dimensional view here that the symmetry of the uh, modern home is very simplistic and that's obviously the design aspect that you really want in a modern home. It's interesting, people always wonder, you know, how can you bring this to life? And when you actually look at the renderings that are done, it's really interesting to be able to see the uh, range uh, and range hood, the refrigerator freezer, the backsplash, the windows that are there, and really look at what this is and to be able to come to a house and actually see what reality is. What we have on the plan, what we see here, what the architects actually give us as a uh, uh, palette to work with, is actually what we create on site. So one of the things that you have in a modern home, particularly with 10 foot ceilings, you typically have not only floor to ceiling windows, but floor to ceiling cabinetry. And what you want to do, one of the highlights, the biggest piece of craftsmanship to the cabinetry is that we have full 10 foot panels. You can actually see the grain that actually comes from one panel to the other all the way down. So when you're looking at each one of these, you can see right to the millimeter that we have all these grains lined up. Um, that's one of the things that we have in a modern home that you know people really don't understand um, the craftsmanship that actually is involved with this. But when you get out here and you see the finished product, then you can really understand and appreciate what we've actually accomplished. We have touch latch uh, uh, doors, um, which again, you can see the minimalistic uh, view of no cabinet hardware. You can see some down on the larger cabinets, um, but on the top ones, we were going for more of a modern uh, minimal look where you actually didn't have any hardware. We're, we're looking for um, things to blend in more than just stick out. You'll see that we actually have a lot of drawers. You don't have the typical door fronts um, that you normally would see in a more uh, uh, traditional home. These are all drawers that uh, are closed. Um, you can see that the uh, margins all line up again from bottom to top, from side to side, all those margins line up and again, what that illustrates here is that the margin of error on a contemporary home is very, very small. So you need really good craftsmen to be able to put together your cabinets, put together your millwork, um, put together the uh, uh, doors, the drawers, um, window trims. Again, being in the kitchen and thinking about a modern home. You know, in a traditional home, you're trying to do crown moldings and uh, wainscot paneling and shiplap and that sort of thing to bring character to the house. In a more modern home where, again, the minimalist look is there, what you're doing is utilizing the materials that we bring into the house to bring some life to it. Like here, we have a very textured, uh, uh, granite uh, wall. Um, on the center island you actually have some textured almost leathered looking uh, granite uh, here. Um, it really brings a uh, distinct flavor to the uh, to the modern home um, and those are the things that we really are trying to uh, utilize. It's, it's very similar to the uh, black green here and it might be a little tough to see but this is actually a oak panel and you can actually see the, uh, the graining through the uh, black uh, ebony finish that we've actually put on it. And again, that is by definition what we're trying to do and bring that character into uh, the modern home. So in a, a more high-end home, the luxury homes that uh, Adore builds, um, almost exclusively we are using Wolf Sub-Zero appliances. 
In this case, we have a 48 inch uh, uh, Wolf range gas with uh, electric ovens. Um, we have a large uh, 1200 CFM uh, uh, hood over here. Conveniently located, we have the uh, Sub-Zero uh, beverage refrigerator, um, the sleek modern uh, microwave right here. Actually, it's under cabinet, uh, drawer front, um, really makes for a nice modern feel and look. Again, very similar to all of the drawers that are built in. And here we have a uh, large uh, 36 inch uh, refrigerator and uh, freezer stack. Um, and again, when you're looking at the large tubular handles, you're looking at the panels as they actually continue to flow up into the uh, uh, upper cabinet set. And you'll notice when you actually get to the top, the frame of the cabinets up into this area here, there is no room again for error. It matches perfectly up to the uh, drywall, um, which is actually something that uh, is very meticulously handled by our uh, trim carpenters. What's really nice about the modern home is how elegant it is with a simple character. You'll notice that on all of the cabinets, and this is the particular center island, there's no base shoe around any of the cabinetry. All of the cabinets from Center Island to the perimeter cabinets are all hand scribed to the floor. There really is no margin of error to actually have the fit and finish that you're looking for in a, uh, in a modern home. Typically with a, uh, with a Center Island, you don't find a footrail. In this particular house, we actually included a little footrail just to give it a little bit more of a design element. Most of the time you'd end up just seeing a flat panel back here, but it looks very, very boring. So by adding this foot rail, uh, this custom foot rail, it actually just adds a little bit more detail to the center island. These clients are, uh, are big into uh, cooking. One of the things that we wanted to do was integrate something, a cutting board type uh, scenario into the uh, overall center island. And it really worked out well. Again, this is one of the aspects of trying to bring in uh, character and uh, texture into the uh, into the home. Again, this is just one small element that really adds something to the overall kitchen experience for people that are into cooking and, and really utilize a, uh, a cutting board. Uh, again, thinking about the materials that we actually bring into a modern home and thinking about the uh, the character of what we're trying to create. You can see in the wood floor we actually have a specific white oak floor five inch thick, and we actually selected this wood floor to be able to bring out the character. We really wanted to not have a smooth, clean look. We wanted to bring in that leathered look, similar to the uh, Center Island, uh, similar to the uh, Backsplash, and bring that into the uh, wood floor. Modern Home has that simple design element to it, and again, one of the other things besides bringing out the material palette is actually to create some dynamic contrast to overall look and feel of the home. And in this case, we have that, again, uh, painted ebony uh, white oak, and then we actually have the contrasting uh, white oak door and drawer fronts. And again, that's something that creates a little bit more of a uh, look and feel, a dynamic look and feel that we're you know, looking to achieve, to bring out that beauty in a, uh, in a modern home. What you end up seeing is just a lot of use of glass. And again, what you're trying to do is bring the exterior into the interior. This is a very unique house where you're able to, from outside, be able to see outside. You can see directly through the house. Um, the use of the uh, 10 foot big Pella windows and doors um, really allows you to bring in that natural beauty um, and natural sunlight into the home. This particular room actually has a uh, Claire story to it. This is the living room um, where we're actually bringing in an additional uh, bank of lighting all the way around the perimeter. Very, very intricate and difficult to uh, facilitate and build. What you don't see behind the walls is that at each corner, and all the way through the header areas, there's actually steel beams up there. Um, the steel beams give a 
structure to this area in order to accomplish being able to have the uh, Claire story. Um, most people don't understand, they think that we're just building with uh, wood framing, but again, in the modern home, you have a lot of steel that you actually have to utilize and build with and know how to actually put it together in order to create the ambiance that you're actually trying to create. So standing at the staircase, entering into the lower level, um, again, modern home, simple design. We actually have a custom steel forged uh, uh, handrail. You can see it's very simplistic. It's just more of a flat uh, one by two piece of metal, um, but custom made particularly for this house. Um, you can also see the back of the living room, actually cabinetry actually acts as the wall of the staircase as you're, enter, as you're going down, which again, really, really nice piece of feature. Um, people don't understand, don't understand how it's actually built. Um, but we actually have blocking underneath the wood floor so that we could actually mount the cabinetry because it's a free floating cabinet. So instead of having that be able to fall over, we had to make certain that we had good blocking material underneath so that we could actually attach this large cabinet to the floor so that we wouldn't get any rocking effect. Very typical in modern design. Uh, these little stair treads. Again, very, very simple, small, um, just adds a little detail to the, uh, to the home. Um, at night, uh, using them as stair lights really creates a nice ambiance. How often do you see your receptacles built in between the granite backsplash and the uh, one by two casing of the window? We custom fit in a piece of, uh, of uh, receptacle that goes all the way from end to end so that the client would actually have unlimited use of the countertop. Um, again, it's one of those small little things that you don't really see unless somebody's really pointing them out to you. And that's one of the reasons, again, why it's really important to be able to, to come and see the home um, see what we really do because it really gives you a better feel for what you're going to get in the end. When you're looking at that two-dimensional floor plan, you never know, is this really going to be created? And you've seen from us looking at the paper to actually seeing what reality is, this is what you get when you hire a quality contractor. It's somebody that can actually look at plans, knows the craftsmanship that you need to have in order to create a masterpiece when it comes to a modern design and that's what you're looking for. That's one of the reasons why we excel so well in what we do and have the team that we have, the craftsmen that we partner with, the architects that we work with and the interior designers that we work with. What you want and what you're looking for is a really good team to be able to create this.